Hello, welcome to this video. In this video will see how to create and render info box in Shiny Dashboard package. What you see here is a collection of info boxes. Info box is a nice way to represent or highlight key piece of information from a given data in the dashboard. It can be a parameter, argument, statistics, or key performance indicators, or anything else which we would like to highlight as part of dashboard. As you can see here, I've got four info boxes in one row, and then I've got another info box here in the second row, and then the third one. The differences lie in their width, in their appearance, and then we have got something where we have got custom CSS, and we'll see each of them. So, how we showcase key piece of information here? Let's see this info box. It has got an icon on the left hand side. So you can choose from um, given icons, list of icons, and use it, which serves the purpose and kind of gives an idea relating to what data you have. You've got a title here and a value, and then you can also put a subtitle. You can also define a background color. So as you can see, this one has blue, and it's um, here we have a different background color. And, uh, here we have a different icon and so on. Here you can see the info boxes are of same width. In the second row, what I've done is I've changed the width. So it's pretty wider as compared to the info boxes in the first row. And then here in the third row, you can see that the width and height is quite different and I've got some inline, inline CSS and this is just an example to demonstrate how we can also use inline CSS to define the width and height of info box. We'll start with UI.R and there are a few new functions which we are going to learn as part of this demo. Info box function, this is to create info boxes. Then we've got render info box. This is to render the info box, which we create in the server.r. Then we've got info box output. This is what we're going to use in the UI uh, side. And this is going to use the render output ob object in the UI to display them. We'll start with loading the required packages. Then we've got the dashboard body and tab items inside this we have got the tab item with the tab name ib because that's what was defined in the menu item we've got three rows as you can see the first fluid row the second fluid row and the third fluid row in the first fluid row we had four info boxes as you can see here the first one we've got info box output the first argument is the info box output object which is coming from server.r and i have defined the width as 3 this can be changed you can define it remember that the total width will be 12 so you can divide the space accordingly similarly we have got all the four info boxes defined here for display in the second row i've got the info box output median with with a width of six this is just to demonstrate that we can change the width using the width argument the third one we have here has got inline css so it has got inline styling to define the height and width so what we have done is we have we have the info box output we have got the output object inline 
and then what we have is we have defined a style we say text dollar style we have defined the object name here hash in line and then the style parameters we have defined height as 75 pixel line height as 75 pixel and some padding and then we have got width as 400 pixel in server.r we'll start with creating a sample data set then we've got this shiny server function and then we start creating the info box using info box function within the render info box function we give the diff we, we give the title we give the value and in this case we are saying the value should be minimum of the data set we had we define the subtitle and we say fill equals true remember that we have said fill equals true but we have not defined the color so it takes the default color also we have not defined the icon yet let's see another one here we have the info box we have given the title maximum value as maximum of the data values we have we've defined the subtitle we said fill equals true and we have given the color as yellow so instead of default color it will have yellow color in the next one we have the title as st we've given the we have calculated the standard deviation here we have given the subtitle and this time we have given the icon so this one we will have the icon as defined here which is up arrow then the next one we have got another icon a different one this time it's angle double right 